Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is an update for After Charlotte on the points. Austin Dillon still in a lead for points with 140. Bowman, who just got a win at Charlotte, is now in second. And Josh Balicki has fallen another spot down in points. He is still our only um, winner to be below the cut, cut line. And Kyle Bush at 80 points is six points ahead of Ricky Senhouse Jr. Noah Gragson, Austin Sindrick, AJ Allmendinger, and David Reagan all still at this amount of points. This race, too, they did not score anything. Quinhoff and Chase Elliott, two of the drivers involved in the wreck on lap seven. I'll get to that in a second. And also. Eric Jones, he did not gain any points this race, but he is still up top. And we now have nine drivers with a hundred or more points. And Denny Hamlin slipping a little bit, and Brandon J Jones gained some points. He's climbing back up. And now on to the medical reports. Our first one will be about Reddick. Reddick will be joining us at Brandon Jones Pit Box before the race next week to interview. He, he is still in a wheelchair, and he may be able to return by the time the playoffs begin at stage four because his recovery is a lot faster than previously expected. And if he does, that would be a miracle. Our second one is Kyle Larson. Larson has gotten greatly better in condition and should be able to return in next week's race. So he will actually only be gone for one race. And our last one is the Quinhoff Medical Report received three days after Charlotte. After the lap seven crash involving the double zero, 43, 9, 42, 66, 2, and 37, and the 43, 9, and 0, 0, Zero, double zero hit the hardest. Quinhoff is the only one is the only one injured worse enough to be sitting out. Injury sustained from the crash. Broken arm and th three ribs broken from colliding with the catch fencing. First and second degree burns from oil fire, which was caused when he hit the inside wall too. He has a broken leg and sprained leg from exerted forces reached after the catch fencing when he was sliding down the track and a grade one concussion from force of collision and above. Due to injuries sustained, Quinn Half will sit out, sit out the rest of season two from medical, personal, and Starcom requests. His c condition is the worst we've had. We wish he is to live. Much like the five of Carson, Larson, any points scored by Half will not be counted. I will see you all in a, in a bit at our next race, which if you do not know, will be taking place at Bristol for the Food City Dirt Race. Alright, goodbye.